Your Excellency, the Governor of River State, Governor Nyesom Ezenwo Wike, Your Excellency, the Governor elect and the Deputy Governor elect, Right Honorable Speaker, Zonal Chairman of the People's Democratic Party. My brother, former Deputy Speaker of House of Representatives, Prince Chibuda Mwoche. My other brother, Senator John Azuta Mbata, the Chairman of MCC. My professional elder, Chief Ferdinand Alabraba, fellow Nigerian Institute of Quantity Surveyors, distinguished senators, honorable members of the House of Representatives, our elders, our chiefs, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please permit me to abridge the protocol. Your Excellency, on behalf of the government and people of Kaduna State, I want to thank you for inviting me to River State to commission this very important road linking two local governments of the state. I want to commend you for the quality governance you provided to this state the infrastructural transformation of the state and your heavy investment in health, education, and job creation. Rivers is a very blessed state in many ways. And it is clear that under your leadership, the resources of this state are being used for the benefit of the people of the state. I want to congratulate you on your achievements. It is my pleasure to be here, Your Excellency. As you rightly pointed out, we may be from different parties, but we share a few things in common. We are Nigerians and we believe in Nigeria. We are governors and we belong to the Nigerian Governors Forum. And in our forum, we try to learn from one another. We have a peer review mechanism in which we draw lessons. And for me, it is important to visit River State to see what lessons we can learn from our efforts at infrastructural transformation and human capital development. So it's my pleasure to be here. I'm happy that I came after the elections so that no political connotations will be attributed to this visit. The elections are over and as elected leaders it's our duty to now serve the people. I want on behalf of our presidential candidate and our party to thank you and the good people of River State for making the right choice in voting for Asiwa Jibola Ahmed Tinubu. It is the first time since the Fourth Republic started in 1999 that PDP was unable to get 25% in River State. It shows that the people of Rivers can differentiate and they know when to vote for quality and they voted quality over political sentiments. We want to thank you for providing that leadership, Governor Wike. This country belongs to all of us and we have a duty to do all that it takes to make Nigeria an egalitarian progressive and prosperous society. You have done a lot in River State 
to give every Nigerian living here a sense of belonging. We are grateful to you for that. And I want to assure you, on behalf of the Northern APC governors that stood up and insisted that after eight years of President Buhari, power must shift to the south, was an act not only of belief in one Nigeria, but also in our enlightened self-interest. This country has the potential to lead the African continent and indeed the black race. But only when Nigerian leaders come together and do what is best for the majority of our people. This is what the Northern APC governor stood for. This is what we believe Governor Wike stands for. And this is part of the reason that I am here to extend our hand of fellowship to Your Excellency Governor Nyesem Wike and the people of River State for us to continue to work together as brothers and sisters to make Nigeria a better place for everyone, no matter what religion, ethnicity, tribe, color, or creed. We are very happy to be invited here. We are very happy to be part of this. And I hope, Your Excellency, your successor will continue to build not only on your achievements on the ground, but in maintaining that handshake across the river Niger with our own successors in Kaduna, Kano, and other states of northern Nigeria. I'm very happy to be here, sir, for another reason entirely. It's been a long time since I saw my brother, the minister, my minister of state, Ambassador Denis Akao. Since he left the FCT and became uh, ambassador to South Korea, we've been in touch, but we've not met for a long time. Coming here and seeing him getting younger by the day persuades me that perhaps I should retire to Port Harcourt. It is also a good opportunity to reconnect with Senator John Azuta Mbata. He was one of my strongest supporters when I was Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. He stood for me when I had problems with the Senate, and I will never forget him. He is a good man, and I'm happy that he is now in the private sector making tons of money, except that he didn't send me a donation in the last election. But it's not too late. I can still connect something for my retirement. It's also good to see Prince Chibudong Nwuche, uh, uh, who is a very old friend, who was very supportive to me again when he was Deputy Speaker and I was head of the Bureau of Public Enterprises. So coming to Patakot, Your Excellency, is like a homecoming. I'm so happy to be here. And to see legendary figures like Sergeant Awuse, is a source of joy to many of us, sir. So I'm very, very grateful to you for inviting me, and I want to thank the government and people of River State for the warm welcome and hospitality.